Hey, what's up? I didn't see you there. It's because I'm so hard on the grind. Ugh, exhausted. Eyes bloodshot. And not from drugs, unfortunately. <laughs> I wanted to talk about perspective. And I would like to make a more in-depth video when I have some time. Auditioning for shows has changed my life. And it has to do with perspective. When I first started trying out for TV shows, mainly The Biggest Loser, I tried every year. I worked so hard on those videos. I invested so much of my time. I would travel to the open casting calls and they would love me. They would love my personality. They would love my story and they would just keep moving me up in the levels of casting. And then out of nowhere, boom, nothing. They won't call, they won't email, they won't answer me back and tell me that I didn't make it or not. And it just, it was so much stress and I would beat myself up for it. I would say, oh, I'm just a piece of shit. I'm not interesting enough. No wonder why they didn't pick me. And I would spiral down making it so personal. And that was my perspective because I was stubborn and I just ran straight at that, put all my eggs in one basket. And that was me creating that problem for my mental health. Years later, after trying again and again, and then also working in Los Angeles for a big production company and seeing what it's like, producers, the people that you talk to when you're casting for things, they're human beings too, and they have a hard job. You might not think that because in your mind, you're so focused on what you're working on and what you've been through, and when you don't get picked and you get rejected, you're lashing out and you're projecting those feelings onto those producers in this case. It does involve a lot of other areas in your life, so it's not just about casting. Not looking at other people's perspective in general really kind of closes you into a box in your mind. And if you have a lot of mental health issues, you're trapped in that box and you're not willing to work through it. A lot of that might be because you're not looking at other people's perspectives. You might learn some tools. You might be convinced to think differently than the one direction you're already thinking. I finally realized that it is not personal. You have to think about the overall idea of casting. These producers, they're on a real quick deadline. They gotta hurry up, they gotta give some answers, and the higher up people above them that make the actual decisions look at whatever they're working on and they choose who ultimately gets to be on the TV show. Those people choosing already have a view of what they want. They're dealing with thousands and thousands and thousands of people casting for one show. So for me to take it personal that they didn't write me back and give me a long explanation that I'm not gonna be happy about anyway because I'm still gonna have my own perspective and say that it's because I'm not good enough and they're just assholes and I can't believe that they didn't pick me. Talking to other people that are on this planet with us and seeing their perspective and analyzing why they believe what they believe might help convince you to have new beliefs or just a new way of looking at whatever your belief is or whatever your process is on mental health. Just the overall process of auditioning in general and helped me to open my eyes to other situations and, I, and I'm really thankful for that. It can't hurt to learn other people's point of view on those situations to help you grow and learn as a person. Whatever journey you're on in this life, I'm right there too, going on mine, and I'm hoping that you'll join me on looking at other people's perspectives because I know for a fact it can change your life for the better. Much love.